Today we are decluttering in my parents' kitchen and since this kitchen is so big, we're not going to declutter the entire thing because it's going to be very overwhelming. So instead, we're just going to break it down into parts and we're going to start from over here on this side, right when you walk into the kitchen, you see these two cabinets right here and that's what we're working on today. I'm thinking of making this into a series, so if you want to stay tuned to eventually declutter the entire kitchen, then make sure you are subscribed and hit that like button down below. And this is just an overview of the kitchen, so you can see how many cabinets there are and everything that we'll be working on in the future. So in today's video, we're just going to focus on these two right here. So when we open this, this is basically a junk cabinet they don't have a junk drawer they have a whole cabinet full of stuff so hopefully we can do something with this today make it look a lot better and then in here we have also just full of random things so i know if we declutter these spaces there's going to be so much more space for my mom to actually have the stuff that she uses on a regular basis in here instead so they're not taking up so much space with clutter. Even though this is a small space, I find it a little bit overwhelming to start with. So I'm going to start off with this side since there's less stuff and I feel like it's going to be easier to organize this one first and then go over to that one. Ew, I just found something really sticky and gross. I'm like afraid to touch it. Uh, okay, let's grab a, a napkin. So this is what I found. Don't know what this is, but this is definitely going in the trash. to get up at the top because I can't reach. <laughs> Here is a closer look at what we're working with in the top shelf. So literally just a bunch of random stuff kitchen related and not kitchen related. As I'm going through this stuff, I'm seeing there are various supplements and medicines. So I'm going to see if there's going to be a way for me to organize all that in here a lot better than how it looks. And also get rid of anything that's expired and old, which I'm sure we're gonna find lots of in here. So I'm gonna continue taking stuff down. Medicine. Scale. So I'm running out of space here. That's okay. And, ew. Some old drink. Sunglasses. Oh, you can see there's some spider webs up here. More stuff. Glasses. Ice cube tray. And we have some CDs in here. Okay. Number two. 
and this box. Okay, I need two hands for this, so I'm gonna put the camera down. This looks like it's brand new, still in the box, probably never used for fruit infusion. So I'm starting a donate pile on the table and setting everything aside that I'm sure my mom is not gonna use since all these things have not been used in years. So I'm pretty sure that she's okay with letting them go. Obviously, I'm gonna make sure that it's okay, but I'm going to start the donate pile right behind you. We've got some class award for a project for school that is my sister's. We also have some manuals for the air fryer that they have. So they've had this for a long time and I'm sure that they don't need this anymore. They already know how to use the air fryer and everything. So this is going to go recycle. And I have my trash bag, so in here is gonna go everything that's expired or just literally trash. So I have my trash bag and we're gonna start putting some trash right here. I'm pretty sure it's dead or else it would have crawled away. Oh my god. Okay, trash. Trash. I hate spiders. Yeah, this is all expired candy, which is sad because I love raisinets. <laughs> These two are empty, and now we're down to the bottom shelf. Batteries. A whole tray. Oh, that's heavy. The batteries. Another water bottle. We're gonna put that here in the donate. So this is our little donate section so far. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Go in the trash. Drop these. Green see. That one's alive.
here. Okay, everything up here is empty now. There were a lot of expired food and medicine, bunch of random stuff that has never been used that could be donated, so I set those aside. Lots of spider webs and saw a couple spiders as well, which was not fun. But now we got rid of all that. This is all empty, so now I'm gonna wipe it down. Also, for some reason, my parents like to use the oven that, by the way, does not work. <laughs> they like to use it as storage as well. So not only do they put stuff on here, but there's also stuff inside, which I'm afraid to open, but <laughs> we'll save that for another time. So here I see that they have some medicine here as well. And I think this is the stuff that they use recently, so we're going to put this in here now. Medicine in here. Got a lot of dirt on here, so I can clean that. I see some stuff. Ooh. Motor batteries. So this is the trash bag. It is pretty full and pretty heavy and this is what it looks like now so I'm going to see what we can put in there because a lot of the stuff my mom has she has them pretty much randomly sitting out on counters and stuff so we can clear the clutter from the counters and other spaces by putting other stuff in there so that's what I want to try to do right now okay so this is what we're left with here this side down is donations. I'm going to put those in this bag. These plates I need to go through. I think we're going to keep those and then figure out what to do with those containers because those were sitting on top of the microwave. Let's put everything away. Okay, now that this is cleared out, we're gonna start over here and tackle this. Now that I have the ball rolling after doing this side, I'm ready to tackle this. It's not so overwhelming anymore.
So the last time that I decluttered this area, my dad was here and he was kind of telling me what stuff he wanted to keep and what was okay to let go. Last time I brought up these plates, it's a holiday set, and he told me, it was like a year ago, that he was going to use them for Christmas. He never did. And so he said that if he never used it for Christmas, then I could let them go. So this is what it looks like right now. There's a lot of tools and little nails and screws and just small things like that that are just all over in there and I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. I kind of want everything in one spot so I'm trying to put things together as fast as I can. I know my dad and he's not gonna want to get rid of everything so I'm mostly organizing but I am finding some stuff to declutter. So for all the random stuff that's just floating in there that I don't know what to do with is in this bag. And here is everything that is going to be donated. This is I guess an old TV console set or something. I I have no idea what this is. It looks really old. We have these, this bell, some chapstick, an old sunglasses bag, and then a couple things in there. A wreath hanger. And then I think this is a camera bag. This is what we have so far for donations. <sighs> At this point, I'm pretty exhausted because I just don't know what to do with all these little pieces that I'm finding and I know my dad is gonna want to keep everything so I just don't know how to best organize this right now for him oh my gosh this ring it's not focusing but this is my baby ring it has my first initial this was literally from when I was a baby and I just found it that's so crazy <laughs> I like my little mason jar idea, but I can't fit everything in there. So we have a few hammers just laying there and screwdrivers and stuff, wrenches. I'm just gonna leave those like that and then pick all these up and just find a container for them all. Here is our final declutter pile of everything. Here's a bag with some stuff too. And then everything here on this counter and everything in this paper bag. There was a lot of stuff in there that was just taking up so much space. And now I can show you what everything looks like.
this space is all clear now just with these two appliances and in here we basically got rid of everything which is nice now there's all this space that my mom can use to put other stuff in here. She does have a lot of stuff sitting on the counters, so maybe we can move those things in here so that they're not taking up space on the counter. This is what this looks like now. So still a junk cabinet, but a little bit decluttered and a little bit more organized. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Is there more stuff that could be decluttered? Yes, but when dealing with my dad, who has a hard time of letting stuff go, this is the best that we can do. And maybe eventually along the line, he is going to be able to get rid of more stuff. But at least it looks way better than it did before. I am very exhausted now, but I'm so glad that we were able to do this today. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Subscribe if you like videos about decluttering and simple living. I upload videos every single week. See you guys next time.